Hi guys, this is Crystal, and today we're gonna do a Coachella look. The full thing. Makeup, hair, outfit. First, before we get into things, I do wanna say thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. I know that it doesn't sound like a lot to some people, but it's a lot for me. Thank you so much for the support. I really, really am just Floored. Secondly, I do have a little bit of a life update. I got a job. I quit my job back in September. I just got a freelance part-time job and I'm really excited about the opportunity. With that, I do have a busier schedule. I am trying to figure out what my posting schedule is going to look like. Anyway, Coachella. I cannot believe it's been like, what, three years since the last Coachella was put on? I guess we've been in the pandemic for a really long time. I've been to Coachella before, but it was many moons ago, and also I'm kind of retired at this point. I thought it'd be really fun to do a little Coachella series. Different types of girls at Coachella. I hope to do at least one video a week up until the first weekend of Coachella. Today, we are going to start off with the Revolve Girl. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's get into it. So I am going to be using my Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop, which acts as a primer and sunblock. And it's especially important for Coachella because of the hot beating sun that you're gonna be under all day. So make sure you bring some extra sunblock with you for your body as well as your face. Now I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer with SPF. This is the oil-free version. My skin is already looking pretty good and I don't wanna really overload it and inflame it for any reason. I like that it has the extra SPF on top of my sunscreen. And also, because you're gonna be out and about all day, I really wanna make sure that I'm not putting too much face makeup on so that it's not all cakey by the end of the day. Now I'm going to put on some concealer. I'm doing my usual concealer routine, just covering up my imperfections. I'm going to add in some more like highlighting with my Pat McGrath concealer to brighten up my face. I'm just taking a little sponge to blend everything out. When I think of the Revolve girl, I think she's definitely kind of like that clean girl, very pretty, feminine look. Before Coachella, I think she might make it a bit more fun and edgy. I'm gonna use some like liquid products to start with before I set my face, just because I think that it just stays a lot better. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty liquid blush that I have. And I'm just using my finger to blend that out. And I'm blending that out towards my temples. I'm gonna use this Too Faced Born This Way concealer to sculpt I'm using this fluffy brush. I think the base is gonna be very similar to my Clean Girl makeup look. And then I'm actually gonna use a tiny bit for my nose. I can't remember where this brush is from. It's definitely fluffier than the Jaclyn Hill brushes that I have. So I think it'll do a better job of blending this out. I'm gonna take this brush and just kind of like diffuse the contour that we did. This is the Marc Jacobs Liquid Highlighter in Do You. A little bit of this goes a long way, so I'm just gonna do like half a pump. And I'm just gonna use my finger and kinda like pat that on. I'm gonna go ahead and set, and I'm just gonna use probably a little more than usual to really make sure that the makeup stays on all day. And then this one's already peeping through, so I'm gonna put some more concealer on that. Wow. Let's prime my lids really quick. Now I'm gonna do my brows. 
On to the eye look. I'm going to start with this Kat Von D palette and this like almond color to prep my lid. I'm just using this flat brush. Now I'm going to use a fluffy brush like this. And I'm gonna go in with the color that I broke. This one right here. And I'm just gonna kind of carve out the hollows of my eye. I want to do a little pop of inner corner. Now taking this fluffy brush, I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. Just gonna pop that in the corner. I'm gonna do two eyeliners. I'm gonna start with the black. And I'm just gonna do like pretty standard wing. I think I wanna go longer. Good. Wow. This is brand new, so this is the first time that I'm trying this. Uh, oops, very glittery urban decay heavy metal liner and this is in the color disco daydream and i'm gonna do this like right above the black liner love it i'm gonna use my laguna bronzer from NARS. Bronze everything up a little bit more. I'm also gonna go in with this blending brush. Contour this again. More blush. And this is my Tarte blush. So I'm taking this shimmer brick again and doing the same spots that I did earlier. Also, I'm gonna do just a little bit above the cupid's bow, right here above the eyebrows, and just maybe a touch on the chin. I'm gonna wear these Lily Lashes from the Light Mink collection. Opulence, I've already trimmed these down. They're just really long, wispy, and pretty. overline a little bit and this is the MAC Lip Pencil in Spice. This is the Charlotte Tilbury's In Love with Olivia and some Fussy. I think this is my current favorite lip combo. It's so pretty. Definitely, definitely don't forget setting spray. That's pretty much the makeup look for my hair, I'm just gonna crimp it with this deep waver. Take like small sections like you're curling your hair and crimp it. You don't really have to hold it in there for that long. I like the look of this because it's a little sharper of a wave. And be careful, don't burn your ear. And I'm crimping the hair with the flat side up because I find that it looks nicer when it's like curving in first. That is the bottom layer. I do three layers total. And I just clipped my bottom layer so I don't recrimp it.
and I don't want it to be super crimped, so I'm just doing like a second. And some of these like pieces that are sticking outwards, I want to curl them in. This is what it looks like all down. I'm just gonna take my straightener and fix some of those pieces. This. I kind of want to make it more fun. So this is the final look. I put on this top that I got from Poshmark and these pants I actually got from Thailand. I think actually it was Bali. And some white Converse. These are leather. They don't really get dirty very easily, which is perfect because you'll be walking around in like sand, grass, will be stepped on. And I actually wore these pants to Coachella one year. Very breathable, so it will definitely hold up in hot weather. And I put on some jewelry, these starburst earrings, this little initial necklace just to keep it simple. I would probably wear this bag, which is like a little clear bag that I bought for stadium events. Just got it on Amazon for like $10, $15. I think it goes really cute with this look. That is the finished look. Very simple, really quick, really cute. I really like how this look turned out. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks, you guys. See you on the next one. Bye.